Uh, let us discuss the answer to number 7. The function given is 3 times the quantity x plus 1 squared minus 12. We have to show that that function is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So th that is quite very simple. Uh, we can simplify the function, which is 3x three, three plus 1 is x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 12. So this will give us 3x squared plus 6x plus 3 minus 12, 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So we're done with this. For the graph of f, we have to write down the co uh, coordinate of the vertex. We can use the given function to find the coordinate of the vertex. So for 1, our vertex will have a coordinate of negative 1 and negative 12, the h, k value. So write down the equation of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry has an equation of x equals negative b over 2a. With that, we can use the answer in letter uh, letter a here. So negative b is negative 6 over uh, 2 times uh, 2 times 3. So that will give us negative 1. Therefore, the axis of symmetry as is at negative 1. For part 3, <coughs> write down the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when your x equals 0. So we can use the general equation, this one, uh, or the first one, to find the y-intercept. So, And that is when your so y-intercept uh, means you have a value for y. So, if you say 3, uh, our y-intercept y equals 3 times 0, that's the value of x, plus 1 squared minus 12. This will give us y equals uh, negative 9. So, the y-intercept is at 0, negative 9. For the x-intercept, uh, that is when x-intercept, that, that is when you have a value for x and 0 for y. So you can also use the general equation 0 equals uh, 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So we can have 3 x squared plus 6x minus 9 and then we can um, factor this out this is equal to 3x minus 3 and x plus 3 so this will give us two values of x which are x equals negative 3 and also x equals 1. So we have two x-intercepts at negative 3 and 0 also at 1 and 0. For letter C, we have to sketch the graph. So it will be now very easy to sketch the graph because we have several answers in our letter B. So if this is our uh, x and y axis, we shall have the 
asymptote at x equals negative 1. Let me change color. So here, let's say, this is where your x equals negative 1. And you have a 1, 2, 3. These are the... Uh, here is your negative 3 and then 1 here. These are the x-intercepts. And then you also have um, y-intercept at 0, negative 9. So let's say, let's try to make this longer. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And then, uh, the vertex is at negative 1 and 12. So, probably somewhere here. So, roughly drawing it, it will, it has to pass the y-intercept. And this. And the other one here. So, passing the y-intercept here. The x-intercept, the x-intercept, and the vertex. Now the, uh, let me erase this part to give some room. The, uh, uh, let g of x equals x squared. The graph of f may be, may be obtained from the graph of g by the true transformation. So it is saying that we started from g. We started from G and we come up with F of X, which is this. Uh, so F of X happens by doing some things from G of X, X squared. So from uh, X squared, it becomes 3 uh, X plus 1 squared minus 12. It says it has a scale factor in the direction of y, followed by a translation of pq. So translation, and then we are asked to find the values of p. So for the horizontal translation, our p is the horizontal translation, which is this one. So negative 1. And our vertical translation is negative 12. negative 12 and then our t which is the scale factor of this is 3 